I told you, this isn't like a how to cook. This is like, let's just get crazy and see what happens. Cook. Uh, I would normally never do this, but why the hell not? It's a Saturday. Today, we are trying three different... I can't even get through this. Guys, I am going to commit something unholy, and I'm going away from salt and pepper only, and we're going to get crazy with the rubs on this brisket. I'm very traditional when it comes to the brisket. It is salt and pepper, or my favorite, which I call my cheat code, Texas Bold GC Seasoning. I, I just like one rub. I like to keep it simple. I don't overdo it. I don't crush it and put layers and layers of rub on when it comes to my brisket. However, lately with my ribs and pulled pork and chicken, the more layers I put on it, the better it's coming out. So today I'm going to break a cardinal rule for Texas style brisket. I know people do this and layer the crap out of a brisket. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you my preference is a Texas style brisket. I don't like the coffee rubs. I don't like all these other additives to it. It just hasn't been my cup of tea for years and years. Uh, so this is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. So what we're gonna do for all of these is we're gonna put Texas Bold as the final touch. Well, on the first one, we're just gonna use Texas Bold as our staple. And then we're gonna layer the other ones. The second one, we're gonna layer with Cosmos fall the cap open dude i've had so much trouble with these caps because i go to shake them up and they accidentally pop open i kid you not i don't know if i'm getting old or these things are getting i don't know but it's probably me getting old but this uh texas beef i'm gonna put as a layer on this middle one and then i'm gonna put texas bold gc seasoning a lot of texas in that middle one and then for the third one we're throwing everything at it we're going to start with the honey barbecue we're going to give it a heavy layer and i mean heavy layer well you'll see on my texas bold I, I i layer i don't layer it i apply it but i don't go crazy with the rub maybe you think differently then i'm going to go cow cover on this third one then we're going to go texas beef cosmos so two cosmos a meat church and then cheat code texas bold gc seasoning on the last one this thing i don't want to see a speck of beef on it i just want it to be completely layered uh sweating the sugars and all that and then we're going to see we're going to go right to the taste testing uh I'll, I'll do a couple quick camera things but let's go let's do this <laughs> can smell something's good is going on as hopefully you can see this I'll try to get some close-ups but you know I I've actually layered the GC seasonings heavier than I normally do uh, but there is a good heavy layering but you can see you can see in there that it's not completely covered with this middle one so far with the cosmos and the Texas Bowl GC I'm really trying to layer and get that heavy, heavy rub layering on there. Here, all right, this one, this is the last time, hopefully you see any meat on it. I am going to throw everything on this thing. This piece is going to get crazy and I want it to. So, you ready? Cause I'm not really ready for this, but what the hell? It's TV, right, folks? As you are seeing, we are only two rubs in on this one, and it is just the sugar base is just kind of sweating and melting right to the beef, uh, which happens with the pork, with the ribs, with the shoulders, with the butts. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, are we going to get a burning effect because of all the sugar? I don't know. Probably. We are going to give this one a little more time to sweat and kind of uh, sink in 
so that it can make room for the other one. So we'll be about five to 10 minutes before we start applying the other ones. And then with the one uh, which is the Cosmo NGC only, more of a competition style, like a light layering, it's done a lot in competitions. It's a winning combination. Uh, just to see, we'll reapply a little more of both those, but then the GC seizing, that's our control one. So we're just gonna leave that be. Oops, you forget about the fire. We're still cranking at 300, but I actually want to get this to 275. So we're gonna spread out the charcoal coal base. It's a wood only fire, hickory and oak. That's how we're rolling today. This looks great. Booyah. We are really close to the next apply. I just reapplied the one on the right here and then the GC seasonings. This might be a better example of how you still see beef. And then this one we're trying to cover it so there's a entire layer, but now you get what I'm saying here. It's not crazy layered. And this is competition oh, getting a little crazy layered. And this one. All right, let's go. All right, so these are all like sugar based on sugar based on sugar. But that's where we are. That's what we're doing. And I've been doing multiple rubs on my ribs and my pork and it's just been making such a difference lately that I'm like, you know what? I know I've tried this in the past and I haven't loved it, but let's try it again. Let's see what happens. But this is looking crazy excessive. Uh, hopefully it looks amazing because the sugar could create some pretty cool mahogany colors. But we will see. You can always tell when it's a sugar-based rub because it can easily start to clump together in the bottle. So that's something that will be a quick indicator if you're going for your rub bottle and you're like, is this salt-based or sugar-based? If it starts clumping together, you're gonna know right away. Sugar! So much watery sugar, it's starting to drip on the board. You might pick it up on camera, you might not. There's a lot of it. So I think we're getting mission accomplished with how much we wanna layer there and put rub on this. Look at this. Just. We're gonna put that in that pocket there. Actually, just to keep going crazy with this, let's keep, like, yep. I told you, this isn't like a how to cook. This is like, let's just get crazy and see what happens, cook. Uh, I would normally never do this, but why the hell not? It's a Saturday. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. So I'm sure that will come off before the next application, but who cares? All right, Texas Bold, here we go. Last time. This is definitely the most crazy I've ever gotten on a brisket, for the record. You're coming along this ride with me. I have no idea what's going to happen. All right, look at my hands just, no, oh, wear gloves. No, I'm all right. This will wash off. I don't like to judge a book by its cover. Actually, I totally like to judge books by its cover. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna like this, but we'll see. Who knows? I might like it. You might like it. Whatever, it's food, whatever makes you happy. Did we do it? I think we did it. This thing is loaded up. Control, what I normally do, which is delicious. And then this one is more of a competition blend. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. It's crazy.
still can't get over this. It's got its own coat already. I'm gonna get these things cooked up. I'll take a couple pictures or clips if anything looks really cool, probably just to see how this looks uh, with all this sugar-based rub on it versus how the other ones are coming out. But we'll, uh, we'll skip right to the tasting. Let's do it. All right, let's put this on. We're at, woo, got weak there for a minute. We are at uh, 300, but by the time I get finished, we'll be at 250, getting it ready to go back up to 275, and then I'll keep it there for this cook. Here we go. You can see it's just like, I, I literally went back to the board and I made sure to cover as much as possible but this thing is just it's got its winter coat on it's ready to party uh, this is your middle is more of your competition we went fat side up as you can tell and then here's just a light layer but it gets the job done i mean we freaking love this uh sometimes i go a little heavier sometimes i don't but this over here i've never ever done as you can see it is hard to see the beef because there's just so much rub on there Oh, it's gonna be good. Hopefully, right? I don't know. Let's It's time, let's do this. All right, here is our control. Uh, GC seasonings, a little bit of fat, a little bit, or a lot of bit of meat. Well, I've been waiting for it all day. Just really good brisket. Just a steady baseline. Good, delicious. All right, I'm trying to pull from the exact same style. A little bit of fat. A little bit of meat or a lot of bit of meat. This is from the flat. It's definitely a little drier um, than I wanted it to be, but it's good, soft, tender, right taste. All right, so Cosmos and uh, GC seasonings together. This is more of a competition, mild blend, a little sugar, salt, all that other good stuff. It's good. It's a nice combination. Um, I do pick up on that hint of sugar. That's a nice combination. I really like that. All right. Let's go to the crown jewel. Last one. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. I can't tell. I can't tell. All right. So this was throwing the kitchen sink at it, right? We had like just a gloss of sugary glaze after the meat church and the uh, cover cow, Cosmos, then the Texas beef. Hold on, I'm still trying to figure this one out. No. Hold on. I'm 
go back to control. All right, here we go, last, last attempt. I really hope I'm not throwing brisket out. I can't put my finger on it. What the heck is happening? It's like, it's something off about it. Like I, I want it to work, but there's just something off about it. The, and that's why people don't do this. This is why you keep this for the pork and the chicken. There's just something hitting me. I can't tell what it is, but it's just not what I want. And there's just like this tinge of being off. Well, at least that puts this whole thing to rest that we no longer have to worry. Are we not preparing our brisket the way we should be? This uh, competition style of, because when we did our competition, we just used the GC seasonings, but uh, actually the owner of GC seasoning, he mentioned to me, he's like, we actually, you know, blend it out a little with the Cosmo, uh, Cosmos, am I saying that right? I don't know. A Cosmos blend, uh, to, you know, just give it a something else, a little bit of a touch to it, but all this sugar and everything that glazed where we went the kitchen sink. No, I don't think so. Hold on. Let me try this one more time. Okay. So with the Cosmos Texas beef and the GC seasoning, I would say that's a, it's just a sm mild, smooth, like it's got a nice blend to it. it it's very comparable and complements itself together. I like that. That's good. However, I do, I guess I'm more of a Texas purist, uh, which it makes no sense at, at all because I'm nowhere near from Texas or anything like that, but I like Texas barbecue. I like the salt, uh, the little bit of garlic and the other herbs and the pepper that they put in it. And when I do my own blends, I like it that way. So the layering, look at that. You can just see it's just, it's something. Uh, I'm glad I tried it. Uh, is there like, what's killing me is like, I think there's a way that you could do something with this going the whole kitchen sink obviously that's not the ticket uh a middle of the road blend <laughs> a more reasonable blend is probably the way to go um i'm glad i tried it i'm glad you guys got to hang out with me and do this guys i've been making better and better barbecue this past year i want to tell you exactly how i've been doing that so make sure to watch this video right here